Hi, I'm Pat Gifford. Today I'm going to show you how to play a song, a very famous blues song called Key to the Highway. It's not the only way to play it, it's probably not the best way to play it, but it's the way that I play it. So if you want to learn how to play it the way I play it, then watch the rest of this video. Before we get into the details of how to play the song, I just want to play it all the way through. And I put in a few of my own little touches at various points to uh, make it more interesting, not only for the audience, but also for you as the player, so you don't get bored while you're playing the song, because it's a 12-bar it's a blues that basically goes 1-5-4, and so you want to make it a little bit more interesting. So here we go. So let's start off with the first two chords in this song, which are the A7 and the E7, because this song does a quick change from the 1 to the 5, which is kind of unusual in the blues. Normally you change from the 1 to the 4 chord, but we change from the 1 to the 5 in key to the highway. So I'm starting out here with an A7, as you can see, and I'm just putting in this A note to make it a little bit more interesting. Now I'll show you in the other part of the video how I use my right hand, which is very important. But right now let's just focus on the left hand, and I will just show you how I get from the A7 to the E7. Okay, so as you can see, I just did this. And very important here on the E chord, it's supposed to be an E7, but since I'm finger picking, I'm playing the whole E, it doesn't matter, because I'm not playing this, the, the D string at the moment. I do a hammer on with my first uh, finger on the uh, G string, and just to give it a little bit more flavor. So here we go again. And you notice that when I play that E chord, I'm muting it a little bit to give it kind of a popping sound, to give it a little bit more percussion and a little bit more emphasis. You hear that? That's very, uh, I'm doing that on purpose because I want that chord to stand out. Okay, so those are the first two chords. All right, so now we go from the E, which is the five chord, to the D7, which is the four. And I'll play a real D7. But I also add in another note here, which is this G note, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And you'll notice in the version that I played, uh, when I played it all the way through, on the D chord, I also have different ways of playing it just to make it more interesting, but I'll come back to that later. So let's just do, for now, let's just do the E and the D. And that's it. Okay, so after we have played the four chord, which is the D7, 
we go back to the beginning and we start with the A7 again. So we go with the A7 and then we go to the 5 again just like we did before but now because it's the end of the uh, progression instead of going to the D7 we go back to the, the 1 which is the A7 but this time we're going to play a slightly different version of the A7 so instead of playing this version of the A7 we play this version of the A7 and we're only going to play it at the first part we play it, these three notes here so okay so that's the G the, uh, the D string, the G string and the B string we play them all together at the same time and then we go to the turnaround and the turnaround is only playing the D string and the B string starting at the 5th fret and then we just walk down okay we walk down so we do this watch we go so we um, we played that A7 and then we did the walk down that's the 5th fret play the following. So that is a, a C note on the A string. And then we do a hammer on here on the, uh, on the D string to get back to the E because we want to end on the E7 because we're, we end this uh, turnaround on the E7. So again it's and that is an E7. It may look a little bit different than other E7s, but it is in fact an E7 chord. Okay, so that's how you play that one time around. Okay, so I had mentioned that at the beginning when I played the song through, I, uh, I played that four chords in different ways just to make it more interesting. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? one way of playing the uh, the D7, the 4 chord. Okay, and you could do, you could play that through the whole song if you want to, you don't have to change it. But if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you could do it the following. And basically all I do is I slide up here, I put my first finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, my um, my other two fingers are on the 5th fret of the E string and the G string. So I'm going... Okay, that's one variation. Another variation is to do the following. And then go up here. Because that is also a D7 chord. Think of it like this. It's a D7. But I'm only paying it like this. Okay, that's another variation. And then the last variation that I use is I, I go all the way up to the 13th fret and I play the same D7 chord, but I'm playing it one octave higher. So I do the following. And I'm just plucking these three strings with my, my first, second, and third fingers. That's all I'm doing, okay? I'm not, I'm not really picking, I'm just plucking those strings. Okay, so you can insert that change anytime you want to into the song just to make it interesting. I'll do that when the guitar player, the other guitar player is playing a solo, or whenever I think I need a little bit more dynamic in, in what I'm doing there, okay? One other thing I want to show you before we move to the right hand is the turnaround. So the turnaround I showed you originally was the following. That's one way to do the turnaround. 
Another way to do the turnaround is a very classic way, which is the following. And here, I'm actually playing an E7 chord. That's an E7, because remember, at the end of the turnaround, I need to get back to the E7. Another way to do it, uh, to the turnaround, is the following. So I'm still coming back to that E7. I'm just playing the, uh, the G and the E string. And so by mixing the different ways of playing the turnaround and the different ways of uh, playing that D7 chord, you can make the song a lot more interesting for yourself and you can mix and match as much as you want to throughout the song. You can add your own turnarounds and you can figure out other ways that you want to play that D7 chord, but that's just how I do it. Now that we got the left hand down, it's time to focus on the right hand. Obviously the right hand is very important to the song since we're finger picking. If you are a novice finger picker, then this will be the hardest part of learning the song. If you know how to finger pick already, then you can either do it the way I do it or you can figure out your own way to do it, uh, but this is how I do it. Now, just to be clear, I use my thumb and these three fingers. I'm not using my pinky at all in this, uh, in this approach. So, with that said, let's look at the right hand. Okay, so let's go through the right hand a little bit slower and in a little more detail. So as you can see here, I'm starting out with my thumb on the A note. So then I'm going... It might seem like I'm using these fingers to play a lot of bass notes, uh, which maybe it's true, but that's just how it works out with this song. So here we go. And I'm trying to assign these fingers to these three strings here. So when I play that A note, I'm playing, when I play the, the E, the E string, I'm using this finger, my, uh, my third finger. Okay. And then I come back since I'm playing the B string, the B string I'm playing with my middle finger. So each, each finger has a pretty clear uh, assignment of what it, what string it is responsible for. Then I go to the E string. So I'm on my on the five chord now, and you see that you have the ability or you have the choice to play one string or multiple strings. Sometimes I like to pluck multiple strings just to give it a, a fuller sound. Like that. And remember I said I, I mute it so that it doesn't ring out. And then, I, then I'm doing the hammer-on on the uh, G string. And I'm just using this finger for that. Okay. So on that, on that E chord, I'm doing the hammer-on. I'm just using these fingers to play these these two strings and then I go to the the D7 and actually I'm playing all three strings with these fingers just for a fuller sound and I come back you see Then I go 
back to the, the A again. And here I'm just plucking these two strings, because remember I'm getting, that's an A7 chord, but it's a different form, because I'm getting ready for the turnaround. And then I do the walk down on the turnaround using these two fingers on these two strings. actual the the rest of the turnaround with the hammer on on the left hand you notice that I'm only playing this string and that gives it a much more flowing sound than if I try to do okay so I do I just do a hammer on there and then I play that that E7 chord okay and that's where I also use all three fingers to get a fuller sound. Okay, I just want to show you that the, how to, on the right hand, how you play the variation on that D7 chord. So you could play the whole song like this. Or if you want to make it more interesting, you can play it like this. So when I do that, I'm just grabbing these three, three strings, the E, B, and G string, and I'm just pulling them with these three fingers. I gotta do it fast so I can stay in time. Okay, because you'll notice this is a little bit slower. Th this is faster. And whether I'm playing this version, or this version, or this version, you do exactly the same thing with your right hand. Okay? You're just plucking these three fingers. You just gotta do it fast enough so that you finish on time. Okay? So that's all I wanted to show you was this variation on that D7 chord to make things a little bit more interesting. Now we also have a variation on the turnaround, which I'm going to show you next, and you need to see it on the right hand also. So there are multiple, you know, in the blues, I have a book that has 75 blues turnarounds in it, so um, there's no end to how many turnarounds you can figure out and use. But on this song I use three, uh, just to keep it manageable. So the first one is the one that I uh, showed you before, which is uh, just these two strings, so that's the B and the D string, and I'm just doing a walk down, and you have to watch on my right hand how I do that. If you know how, if you do these types of walk downs, these types of turnarounds, then it's not a big deal. But you're, I'm alternating between these two strings. So you see I'm picking this one, and then I pick it again, watch. So here's another kind of turnaround. It's exactly the same concept. It's just played on two different strings. It's played on the E string and the G string. And instead of starting at the seventh fret or the fifth fret, I'm starting at the ninth fret. And so I'm just going down on the E string and the G string. Let me do that one more time. And then you end it with that E chord. You can either strum it or you can just go, you can pluck the strings, which is usually how I do it. Okay, so that's the, the second way to do the turnaround. And the third way to do the turnaround that I use in this song 
is um, where I am using the D string and the A string. I'm holding this note on the D string constant and I'm walking up with the A string. Okay? So it's funny because with the, the, those two last turnarounds, I'm always ending here. So let me just show you one more time. And when you combine all of those different uh, turnarounds and the different ways of playing that uh, five chord, the four chord, then you can make a lot of different variations that you can mix and match on how to play this song. Okay, we have played through the song Key to the Highway. We focused on the left hand, we focused on the right hand. We uh, looked at different ways to play the, uh, the four chord, the D7. We looked at different ways to play the turnaround. And so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope you will go out and play that song. In the uh, description section of this video, I have links to the two bands that I play with currently. Both of those bands play Key to the Highway because it's really a lot of fun to play and it's a, a lot of people know it and it's, it's a real popular song. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it as I said and I hope I will see you in my next video coming up soon. Thanks.